Hello viewers, welcome back to Hungry Fusion. It's been so long since we posted a nutritional recipe. In this video, I'm going to show you an instant recipe which can be done in just minutes. I'm going to use Mapile Samba rice flakes for this. This is a traditional rice variety of Tamil Nadu. It is considered to have a lot of fiber, zinc and iron. It helps in increasing the hemoglobin content in the body. First, I have added 1 cup of Mapili Samba rice flakes. I am going to rinse it once with normal water. This rice variety is particularly given to the Mapili that is son-in-law of the family. This rice variety helps in boosting your immunity system as well as it strengthens your muscles and nerves. Now I am going to add hot water approximately like 2 cups. For thinner kind of flakes, you can add about only half a cup of water. Let it sit for around 15 to 20 minutes. Meanwhile, let's prepare the other ingredients. In a pan, I am going to add 2 teaspoons of ghee. You can use ghee or oil of your choice. I am going to make a lighter version of this recipe, so I am not going to add any masala powder for this. Let's add few curry leaves, half a teaspoon of mustard seeds and quarter teaspoon of cumin seeds. We had a heavy meal for new year, so we wanted to keep it light today. Now I am adding little hing of asafoetida. I have taken a 1 inch piece of ginger. Let's grate it. Ginger aids in easier digestion. You can also add chilli flakes or green chilli at this point. Cook everything until the raw smell goes. Add one big onion finely chopped. My kid doesn't eat spicy food so the spiciness in this ginger is enough for him. Add little quantity of salt for the onions. Now let's add the vegetables. You can just dump in any vegetables you have at home. I had carrots, peas and corn today. You can also add broccoli and capsicum. It's quite good to have good amount of vegetables in your meal. Now let's add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Give it a good mix. You can also add chilli powder at this stage. Cover everything and cook for 4 minutes. It's always good to cover the vegetables while it is cooking to retain its nutrients. You can see the vegetables are now cooked well. Let's add the rice flakes now. You can see now that the rice flakes are soaked very well and have softened. Add the softened rice flakes and give a good mix. These type of rice are rich in fiber so they have low glycemic index thus it is very good for diabetic patients. Now I am adding the salt needed for this. You can also add pepper if needed. That's it our quick and nutritious breakfast is now done. It tastes so amazing that my 4 year old loved having it. Try making this recipe today and comment your feedback. The ingredients notes and my other playlist are given in the description. Share and subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Stay tuned for more amazing recipes. Thank you.